ADCs are complexes formed by coupling cytotoxic drugs to monoclonal antibodies. ADC drugs can not only specifically recognize tumor surface antigens through monoclonal antibodies but also kill tumor target cells by utilizing their highly efficient small molecular toxins. In combination with the advantages of targeted and chemotherapy drugs, ADC drugs have gradually become a research hotspot in the past 20 years. However, due to its complex structure, the development and optimization of ADC production were greatly limited. Compared with antibody drugs, more attention is needed regarding ADC drugs' drug-to-antibody ratio, single linkers, residual aggregates, as well as other indicators. Drug-to-antibody ratio also known as DR. This video reviews techniques applied to ADC purification, including tangential flow filtration, size exclusion chromatography, hydrophobic interaction chromatography, ion exchange chromatography, hydroxyapatite chromatography, and membrane chromatography. The structure of ADC drugs can be divided into five parts. A monoclonal antibody, which has an affinity with the tumor cell surface antigen, plays a targeting role. A payload drug that requires high cytotoxicity to eliminate tumor cells, commonly used payloads include oristatin derivatives, metancine derivatives, and DNA minor grooves. In addition, the monoclonal antibody in the loaded drug also need to be connected through a conjugation site, linker, also known as the attachment arm. Meanwhile, the stability of the linker is crucial to release small cytotoxic molecules in the cytoplasm of tumorous cells after the transportation of the ADC to the intracellular body. As a result, the downstream purification difficulty is enhanced due to the complex structure of ADC. For any given ADCs, the chemical property of cytotoxins and linkers, as well as the choice of attachment sites, will greatly affect the physicochemical properties. Thus, different ADCs may utilize different analytical assessment methods according to their unique properties. In some cases, these assessment strategies can also be used for routine studies for release and stability. In the past 20 years, the research and development of ADC drugs have become a hot spot of competition among major pharmaceutical companies. Currently, the FDA has approved more than 10 ADC drugs, and more than 100 ADC drugs are under clinical trials or pharmaceutical research and development stages. Therefore, major pharmaceutical companies must develop a stable ADC platform-based production process. The purification process of ADCs can be divided into two categories, one, tangential filtration, including ultrafiltration or defiltration. Two, chromatography including size exclusion chromatography, hydrophobic interaction chromatography, ion exchange chromatography, hydroxyapatite chromatography, and membrane chromatography. The ultrafiltration radiofiltration technique of tangential flow filtration has been widely used for ADC drug purification. However, a suitable process buffer is usually required for monoclonal antibody conjugation due to the removal of organic impurities, conjugate impurities, and wasted buffers. In addition, the yield of the ultrafiltration or defiltration technique for ADC purification can also be maintained above 90%. Studies have shown that small molecule impurities, such as organic and conjugate impurities, have a lower molecular weight than the membrane pore size. Therefore, pH, membrane loading, transmembrane pressure difference, and flow rate during the filtration process have little to no effect on removing small molecular impurities. It is worth noting that in some special cases, due to the high hydrophobicity of linkers, self-association may occur, resulting in poorly soluble micelles that are difficult to pass through when utilizing the ultrafiltration slash defiltration technique. As a result, additional subsequent removal steps are required in conjunction with the ultrafiltration or defiltration technique. Overall, the ultrafiltration or defiltration purification technique is a robust and versatile method for purifying ADCs, and its downsides include 1. Insufficient for relatively large molecular weight aggregates removal, usually the molecular weight comparable to ADC or larger. 2. Insufficient to distinguish different loads and affords a mixture of different DR, which requires further purification.
Size exclusion chromatography is a chromatographic strategy for separation and purification based on different molecular weights, which plays a crucial role in the purification of ADC drugs. To further elucidate, size exclusion chromatography can play a role in buffer exchange, removal of aggregates, removal of nonprotein impurities, and removal of small molecular impurities. In addition, the related chromatographic conditions are relatively mild, including neutral pH buffer and room temperature, which are beneficial for ADC drug stability maintenance. Generally, the size exclusion chromatography purification requires the selection of media with minimum interactions for process development. In addition to small molecular impurities and aggregates, ADC drug purification should also focus on removing the DAR separation. Due to the low DAR resolution of size exclusion chromatography, they usually need to be removed utilizing hydrophobic interaction chromatography. In more detail, ADC drugs are covalently coupled with hydrophobic drug linkers, toxins, monoclonal antibodies, and impurities that reveal DAR, and hydrophobic chromatography is used according to the hydrophobic differences for removal. For example, cysteine-coupled ADCs usually afford five different products with DAR of 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. That said, the cysteine-coupled ADC purification can be separated out using hydrophobic interaction chromatography combined with a linear gradient. Usually, ammonium sulfate can be added to the chromatography buffer to assist in the capture of target products within hydrophobic chromatography, but it often leads to a low yield. So, in this case, sodium chloride with lower hydrophobicity can be used to overcome the above problems. In summary, the use of hydrophobic interaction chromatography for ADC drug purification reveals a good separation effect on DAR. However, hydrophobic interaction chromatography confronts shortages of low peak resolution and low yield, which must be optimized in the process development stage. Besides hydrophobic interaction chromatography, another ADC purification strategy under natural conditions is ion exchange chromatography. Ion exchange chromatography involves protein analysis, such as charge variant analysis and glycoform analysis, to elucidate the structural changes of proteins. Although ion exchange chromatography is an informational technology, a very limited number of reports utilize this technology for ADC analysis or purification. In general, ion exchange chromatography yields high recovery and removes non-antibody-related compounds, including small molecules and endotoxins. Therefore, ion exchange chromatography is a promising method of ADC purification. Hydroxyapatite chromatography is a useful method for monoclonal antibody purification. Hydroxyapatite chromatography utilizes calcium and phosphate minerals, which bind to antibodies through the interaction of calcium metal affinity and phosphate-based cation exchange. The use of hydroxyapatite chromatography can reduce antibody aggregates from 60% to 0.1%. Therefore, hydroxyapatite chromatography was used after protein A chromatography. The protein A eluate contains purified antibodies and residual impurities associated with cell culture and leached protein A. Therefore, hydroxyapatite chromatography can effectively remove these impurities. Despite these advantages, hydroxyapatite chromatography is the only routinely used for native antibodies in downstream processes. Membrane chromatography has higher capture efficiency and productivity than traditional resin chromatography, presenting the most promising applications in the recovery, separation, and purification of biomolecules. Due to the advantages of convective solute mass transfer within the adsorption membrane, Membrane chromatography has the potential to operate at much higher flow rates than packed columns, which can reduce the degradation and denaturation of biomolecules, as well as the buffer volume required for a given purification step. Last but not least, membrane chromatography is only routinely used to remove host cell proteins, viruses, endotoxins, and DNA in flow mode in downstream processes. As an expert in the chemical coupling, BOC Sciences focuses on overcoming challenges relevant to ADC development. We possess years of experience in ADC and professional biological coupling development services, 
are equipped with a professional team of chemists and can provide professional knowledge, equipment, and capabilities according to your demand. We also support customized solutions from early detection of bioconjugation to development and clinical manufacturing. If you are interested in our ADC custom development services, please contact us in advance.